What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you exactly how the most in-depth video on YouTube on how to install a center console in your 25th, 2015 to 2020 F-150. So let's get into it. All right, I'm gonna try this clip for a uh, third time. So here we go. But uh, like I just mentioned guys, I purchased a center console uh, for my 2015 XL. Uh, yeah, XL. Yeah, if you guys don't already know, I have a uh, truck, like I just mentioned. Uh, it has vinyl floors, it came with a jump seat, it came with a small radio, uh, a little small screen, and I got really tired of that. So I was like, okay, well, how can I improve all of those things? So I knew that I could install those different things myself. I had been looking on eBay for a center console for quite some time now, and um, they were all around 850, 900 bucks. I don't know, people were just you know selling them at, uh, at crazy prices and stuff like that. And I, I kind of did pay more than I wanted to. And I know some of you guys are already gonna put in the comments, oh, well, I paid 50 bucks on uh, at some junkyard. Oh, I knew my neighbor who was selling his for $3 and I got mine. So uh, yeah, I didn't quite get that lucky. Um, keep the uh, Faster Lifestyle shirt, by the way. Follow them, links in the description. Um, <laughs> but. Uh, so I got mine on eBay for about 800 bucks. Uh, all the other parts uh, that you guys will need to know of are down in the description below. If you have any questions, go ahead and uh, hit me up down there and I will be sure to help you out. Uh, without any further ado, I think we'll go ahead and get right into the install because this is the most in-depth uh, install of a center console on YouTube. So yeah, I think I answer pretty much all the questions that I had when I was going through the install. So hopefully this helps you guys out. And yeah, any questions, let me know. Let's get into it. If you guys want 10% off of some of the best LED lights on the market, visit the discount code in the description, Last Fit Lighting. They're sponsoring this video. They're giving you a 10% off discount code. Visit the link. You won't be upset. Let me know what you think. Back to the video. Okay, so to begin, you first have to remove the seven millimeter bolts, and then uh, just gently, I used a, uh, plastic clip or plastic trim removal thingy. <laughs> uh, I use that to gently pry up on this very, very carefully, and then you can uh, lift it up and then it will unclip. And then there will be two more seven millimeter bolts uh, to get this off and then uh, re begin removing the top portion of this. Alrighty boys, so here is the face plate. It is off, you know, uh, here's the trim pieces. As you see, one of them's already been disconnected. Um, so as this part of the install, the next thing you have to do once you have the uh, face plate off, I guess you can technically do this in any order. Um, if you need to remove this plastic trim, this just, it just clips in. Uh, there's a 10 millimeter bolt on the driver's side. It is, oh gosh, it's tough to tell. It's that, that little back corner in the bottom of this plastic, of the piece. Uh, it's, a, it's a seven millimeter bolt, excuse me. So it's a seven millimeter bolt. It just unclips in there, just un, uh, unscrew it. And then this just gently pulls out. Uh, and then you have your trim pieces that are connected in. Make sure you stick around to the end of the video so that I can tell you how to make sure that you get the right trim pieces very important or else you'll order the wrong ones with the wrong color and you'll be very sad the trim pieces by the way all i did was pull on them all i did was just gently pulled from the inside and it unclipped at the top i then pulled it slowly and gently uh, i didn't use any plastic trim removal kits or uh, pieces just uh yeah pull on it gently and it comes out Alrighty, boys so i went ahead and got the bolts out um there is four 13 millimeter bolts seats out um there's now two more there's the two like harness thingies clip thingies whatever uh you got to get those out and once you get those out then uh you can take the seat out and then you can access the bolts uh to remove your jump seat so much faster all righty boys i am sitting on the floor of where my passenger seat once was i wanted some more leg room i guess um but here as you see i have the vents out of the old ones i'm going to show you how to take them out by installing them uh, excuse me, uh, by installing them in the new ones. So this is the driver side vent. Let's get the driver side um, vent piece. 
And again, stay tuned to the end and I will explain to you how to get, um, where to get these actual vents. Because uh, there was a bit of a story that goes along with it. Uh, anyways, so you see these, um, gosh dang it. Oh, there are these little clips things. Uh, I used, you see the little notch right there and then this or whichever. There are tabs, these tabs right there. I used a, um, this little tool to get under uh, the tabs to pull from under the tabs and then it was able to release it and pick it up and then I was able to get all of them to unsnap. Very simple. Uh, let's put it this one in. Got it. Show buckled in. There we go. All right. Uh, stay tuned. We'll get everything else hooked back up and we'll go from there. Okay. So we've got all the bolts undone. The jump seat is ready to come out and then after that we got a few more things to do, and then the uh, center console can go in. So, uh, there are two 13 millimeter bolts and a 13 millimeter bolt up there. There's one 13 millimeter bolt that can be accessed on the drive that's on the driver's side, also on the back. However, I only removed the passenger seat because it's substantially easier to get the this the passenger side if you have the seat removed. You just get much more space. Plus, it's 19 degrees in Indiana right now and I didn't want to sit outside while I'm doing this. Um, anyway, uh, so to get the driver's side, I scooted the driver's seat all the way forward and you have more than enough clearance to get it out uh, with your uh, ratchet and 13 mil socket. And um, then there's also a bolt up front similar uh, on the passenger side, just on the opposite side for the, for the driver's side bolt. 13 millimeter bolt and then unplug this little boy right here. And then guess what? This thing's ready to come out. Alrighty boys, so as you see the center co uh, jump seat, lol, the jump seat's already out. Um, so next is removing this big piece and then we can put in this piece, which is uh, also has a Ford part number, which I'll put in the description. Uh, I bought I bought this as well as my vents from Tasca, T-A-S-C-A, Tasca.com. Um, they're an awesome, awesome parts distributor. I bought multiple things from them before. Um, but yeah, so I'll explain how to get this out real fast and that is there's a 10 millimeter bolt and a 10 millimeter bolt. Already removed that one, loosened that one, and then that's ready to come out. Uh, the remote that you see in there is my garage door opener and the, the plug that I previously had in there. Uh, the remote that's in there goes to my, I have some lights, which you see are dangling down because I gotta uh, tighten them back up. But I have uh, interior floor lighting for the front and the back. I have it in the back unplugged at the moment because I'm obviously sitting where the passenger seat is. Um, so if you want to know how to do that and hide them very well, uh, check out my video, which will be right up there. All right, guys. So with some troubleshooting, uh, I was able to get my, my four-wheel drive switch switched over. Uh, I'm not going to go in depth as to what the issue was necessarily uh, because you don't need to know because it's extra information that doesn't matter. Um, so to get this out of your um, the driver's side one, uh, with some help from my friend Maddie, I was able to get this out by... There are four switches or four, like push pins. There's one right there, or no, there's three, excuse me. There's one right there, one on the bottom, and then another one uh, on the top. And you just press them in. Rip. You just uh, press it in with your finger, with your thumb or whichever, and you're able to pull it out. And then to put it in to the truck, to put it back into the, the new piece, you just do the same thing and press it in and it snaps in place. I'm not snapping it in place because uh, I do what I want. Okay, so hopefully I put everything in the right order in terms of video clips, but uh, you see we are almost completely back together at this point. So in the last clip, I showed you guys how to put the four-wheel drive stuff back in and all of your other stuff back in. Um, that uh, The same concept applies for the 12-volt that it does for here, and that's just unclip it, put it back into the new one. Same with the vents, you do unclip it and put it back into the new one, and then before you put the center console in, you have to put the, the vent pieces in. The vent pieces go in, and then once they snap into place, you can then slide your console over the uh, over the frame rails that are in place, and then slide it into place. And as you see, I am minutes away from just sliding it in for the final time. So uh, uh, then the, the next step before you completely get it, once you get it roughly where it needs to go, uh, make sure you have the plug on the side of the um, 
on the side of the dash, make sure you have this, the plug plugged back in. If you have the harness, uh, if you have the wire harness, I know in this video I didn't show how to wire up the wire harness, like put it into place. Um, but if you, you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments and I will uh, answer them for you. So also, you need to make sure your USB hub gets plugged back in. And in order to do that, what I did was before I put the console in place, was I found my wires before I slid it in, I found the wires to the back and then pulled them through the bottom through there. And I plugged my, uh, my cigarette lighter in from the back as well with the, with the previous wire that I already had back that was already in place. So yeah, once you get everything back in place, plug your USB hub back in. I turned my, my uh, truck on and just to make sure that I have proper power and everything works as well as test to the back. And, um, yeah, it all works pretty well. So I'm gonna get everything buttoned up, guys, and I'm pretty sure next you'll see the finished product. So as you see, the uh, center console is completely in. Um, I'm about ready to film the outro, actually. Um, so I apologize I didn't show literally putting this in. I didn't have uh, four hands. I didn't have my, uh, my other two arms connected, so I couldn't just film this and put this in at the same time. But anyway, I do explain roughly how to put everything back in. Uh, as soon as you, you know, you take the seat out, I showed you how to take the seat out, put the seat back in the same way you took it out. Uh, so those four bolts, tighten them really tight. Um, tighten them, you know, back to where they were. And uh, yeah, so whenever you're putting everything back in, excuse a little bit of a mess. I've now had the console in for a week and I love it. I love it. Uh, so I'm pretty sure I mentioned this already, but before you put the console in, you need to put your vents in. You need to make sure that you have everything connected back into place and then you attach those back in because then your uh, console slides in right behind this thing. There's just some clips that the console slides into and that's in the vent. Um, and then also, so the center console comes separately with this trim, this, this piece of trim. It's the same on the passenger side, uh, but this trim just literally clips into it. So once you have the console, once you have the console bolted back in uh, with the, the bolts on the sides on both sides and you have the clip plugged in on the side uh, and it's all slotted in and roughly slid into place, uh, make sure you put the, the, uh, the trim pieces back on and you will be all set. Then basically your center console is ready to go. Yeah. So uh, you see, again, I've got everything plugged in up there. And I think that pretty much does it uh, in terms of this video. So uh, I know I mentioned uh, some part numbers in terms of the vents. So yeah, uh, on Tasca, I'll, I'll put the link to uh, where you guys need to go to. Um, or I'll put the part numbers, not really sure yet. Uh, the, either way, the link to, to something in, uh, pertaining to the uh, the vents that you need are going to be in the description because uh, the short story is that it took me two days, I think, uh, between work schedule and everything like that. It took me two days to locate the proper size, the proper vents in terms of color that I that I really needed. So I really wanted to get the ones that were either all black, like you can get in a 2018 F uh, STX or whichever other XLT models that have the all black trim. Um, but frankly, the part numbers don't say the colors in the part number. Uh, there's not a specific color code that I've identified. If you guys have, then that's great. Um, but I'm happy with the ones that I, the ones that I ordered because they are the ones that are really close to the silver. Uh, they are a silver variant or whichever, which, you know, I have the ingot silver F-150. So, uh, I am going to be ordering the, uh, the exterior, um, vents that go along with, um, that right there. I'm going to be ordering that one. So it matches this one. Same with. Uh, on that side. But yeah, uh, you guys will find all of the part numbers, uh, all the extra information, any other links, uh, everything will be down in the description. If you have any questions whatsoever, I'm not sure if I mentioned this already, please let me know in the description or in the comments. Uh, I'll be happy to answer them. I've been answering questions on my videos for like two to three years now. Um, st I still go back and answer them. I have no problem uh, helping out because the, my purpose of making videos, I'm sorry this is lengthy, my purpose of making videos is so that I can help other people look for the same things that I was once looking at, uh, as well as making the best, highest quality F-150 content on YouTube because I am making the best content on YouTube for F-150s. Um, I'm 100% biased, but you guys still follow, you still subscribe, you still watch my videos, so I appreciate you. Um, I think that's going to wrap it up again, any comments, whatever, let me know in the description. Don't forget to give, don't forget to give this video a like, uh, if you liked it, if you think I can improve in anything else, give it a dislike and let me know. Uh, I greatly appreciate, um, positive criticism. <laughs> um, anyway, guys, don't uh, be sure to follow me on, uh, 
on um, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. I'm on all of those different things at EgoBoost73. I post all of my information on there first. Um, you'll see all of that on there first. I've got lots and lots of videos coming. I already mentioned this, I think, in another video. Um, but if you want to see my latest one, such as the uh, the Sync 3 install, that's on there. Um, we're going to be getting seat covers. Oh my gosh, guys, we have we got lots of stuff coming. So be sure to stick around and uh, take care, and I'll see you in the next one.